decade ago, one bullet took the life of a Milwaukee native turned professional basketball player. His death has cold, det uh, cold case detectives stumped. Suzanne Spencer with new video that they are hoping will bring forward new information to solve this case. In a quiet Northside Milwaukee neighborhood, Lavelle Felton built his future on the court. He got the ball right now. Watching his highlights. That's what sent him to the playoffs. Felton's brother. There you go. And friends. I, I would say he was like a quiet killer. He was just real smooth. He didn't, he didn't talk during the games. He just played his game and, and went home. A quiet killer with a professional basketball career that should have had many more highlights. He was about to sign the biggest contract that he had ever signed. Determined to keep playing until his body or coaches told him to stop, but neither did. A gunman made that decision for him. He got shot, and ever since then, you know, we just don't really know the true answer. It was August 12, 2009. Felton was out with friends at what was then Questions Nightclub on North. Uh, he was just waiting on the contract offer, and uh, when that time came, uh, he was getting ready to go, and he wanted to celebrate that entire week. The celebrations of his upcoming contract with Germany continued to a gas station at 35th and Garfield. He's one of those people that you wouldn't believe that ever happened to. It wasn't supposed to be him. Felton watched hours of film as a professional ball player, but investigators turned to a different film to figure out who pulled the trigger, killing the 29-year-old man. That's Felton getting in the driver's seat just before 2 in the morning with someone in his passenger seat. Police say what you can't hear is gunfire as the car then inches forward, striking the parked vehicle. His passenger jumps out, running off, realizing Felton was shot. When police arrived, they did find the victim's vehicle still resting against the parked auto. Uh, the victim was still inside and um, they did do a canvas of the area searching some of the nearby yards to this location uh, where they found some casings. Investigators turned to what was left behind. There was evidence found on the gas station parking lot as well as in the adjacent yard that led to believe that the shooter was probably uh, to the south in the, the uh, yard. In part of that video where someone runs off, stuck with cold case detectives. There are those individuals that appear to interact with the other group, not Lavelle, um, and then after that brief interaction, they pull off of the lot, almost as if those people encourage them to leave. Casings found on the ground, bullet holes at the pump, but the gun was never found until years later. So the firearm was found to be the same one that was used here to kill Mr. Flood. But who was there and who fired remains a mystery. People are willing to talk, however, um, the information is either intentionally untrue or unintentionally untrue, uh, but it leads us nowhere. An investigation turning up little for a basketball player, a father, a son with a promising future. What's so tragic is it was he was an all around good guy. You know, it was it wasn't supposed to happen to him. You know, it was I mean, it still seems like it's a dream. Days away from his dream of playing ball, they wish would have come true. With photojournalist Eric Litzheim, Suzanne Spencer, Fox 6 News. Detectives believe someone at that gas station knows who pulled that trigger. If you have any information, we have a link to contact uh, the cold case team on the links page of our website, fox6now.com, or your Fox 6 News app. We'll be right back.